Hey there, happy Tuesday to you. I'm meteorologist Stephanie Lauber. It is going to be a spicy Taco Tuesday here in the Coastal Bend. We're looking at heat alerts going to be in effect for parts of our area as we head into the afternoon. The hot temperatures and even hotter feels like temperatures for everyone here around. But some differences today in the variety of heat, a little more wind to work with, and we can already start to see things setting up on our sky cam overlooking downtown Corpus Christi. So taking the view from the studio sky cam, yeah, one thing you notice, the haziness. Yep, we still have that around this morning. We've been tracking the glowy view this morning, but now that it's starting to get lighter out, we can also focus on those beautiful Texas flags atop the towers on shoreline, having no problem showing those gorgeous colors this morning because the winds are starting to pick up. They're a couple hundred feet above the ground, so the wind is a bit stronger there. But as the sun continues to rise over the horizon throughout this morning, we'll see some mixing between way up there and here at the ground level, and we'll start to see some breezy conditions ourselves all around. That'll help to take care of some of the visibility issues around the area. This is uh, similar to yesterday, hit or miss patches of poor visibility out on the roadways. So in Alice, we've got three miles of visibility. Same for Hebronville. We're up to five in Robstown and Kingsville, four for Beeville and Rockport. We're up to five now in Port A, an improvement overall. But still, it's a good idea to give yourself some extra time before you head out the door. You're probably going to need the defroster. And for my friends who are also wearing glasses today, yeah, just know you're going to have to uh, clean those every time you go in and out of a building with today's heat. But you know what? <sighs> We're used to it, right? Hey, we've got to get used to this heat, though. And today's breeze may help things feel a little more comfortable, but it's also part of the culprit as to why things are going to feel so hot to your body. Bumping in that humid air from that southeast direction draws in moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Today, our wind gusts will be around 30 miles per hour for the drive home. So about 4, 5, 6 p.m. You're going to want to be mindful of that if you have a commute over bridges and overpasses, you might have to fight the wind uh, for that steering a little bit into the afternoon. But yeah, the big weather picture hasn't changed much because there's really not much going on here. There's a cold front in the panhandle that'll be skirting by us, but because it's nearby, it's going to fight with some of the high pressure over the southeast, influencing that onshore flow for us. And that's why we're going to stay breezy today and into the next couple of days. But other than that, it's a wash, rinse, repeat kind of weather pattern with no major changes here in the coastal bend. So heat is going to be a concern through the next couple of days. Already this morning, temperatures in the 80s for a lot of folks. And those feels like temperatures in the 90s for a lot of folks. That's your sign. Get ready for the heat this afternoon. You want to make sure heat safety is top of mind, not only for you, but for your furry friends. And our dog walking forecast today, our stars, Marley and Emmy, they're from Heberville. A nice walk out in the grass there in the field. Make sure it's earlier in the day or later in the evening because the bulk of the afternoon is going to feel hot. But here in Corpus Christi, your dog walk forecast is going to take us to 90 degrees by noon. And yes, there will be a breeze. But again, that humidity factored in will feel hotter than 90. You want to make sure your pup has a place to cool off during this heat. We've already got heat advisories on deck. This begins at 1 p.m. today until 7 p.m. Includes inland portions of San Patricio, Noises, and Clayburg counties, as well as Kennedy County and inland. Heat advisory means we're expecting those feels like temperatures to be in excess of 110 degrees for a period of two hours or longer. So some tips. You want to stay cool out there. Take those breaks indoors. And the AC is just good enough to help you cool down and make sure you're staying hydrated. Look before you lock your vehicles. Don't leave anyone or anything in a vehicle on a hot day like this because by the afternoon, look, 11 a.m. in the triple digits. You can only imagine what 1 p.m. will look like for us, hanging out around 110 for many already. By 4 p.m., we're kind of over the hump there. 107 for Corpus Christi, 110 for Robstown, 112 still for Kingsville, Alice, and Freer. So, this is the reason why that heat index is so detrimental for your body, because when it's less humid, your body is able to perspire or sweat to cool off. But when you have a lot of water in the air, the air says, no, thank you. We don't need any more. And so it's difficult to perspire and cool off. So that sweltering heat is really going to do a number on you out there. Make sure you take those breaks indoors and stay hydrated. The two most important things, checking on children, pets, and the elderly, they're most susceptible to heat-related illness, a concern we're going to have all the way into next week.